Hello everybody, today we will try to save one more power supply, one kilowatt made in 2018, the seal is not broken, let's first check how it behaves and make some conclusions out of our testing. Let's connect the tester. I did it myself, you saw it in my previous videos, connect the grid through isolating transformer, I'm gonna hold it like this in order you to see, turn on the power, the PS on light is here. Let's try to turn it on, and the power supply tries to start. On the left you see 12 volts line, on the right is 5 volts, and in the middle is 3.3, and it's not starting to blink, so we've got a problem on 3.3 line, most likely. Let's open this and see whether we can fix it or not. I hope we will. Okay, the screws are removed. Let's remove the lead. And the fan, fan connector removed with the lead. It wasn't sealed with the glue. Like we can see in some power supplies. That's the DC-DC converters, that's the high side, which is good. So I'm interested in 3.3 DC-DC converter. We have to identify it and see. I removed the PCB screws. Let's turn it upside down. Don't forget to discharge the main capacitors, as always. Here is the back side of the board, nothing here. The 3.3 DC-DC converter is this one, so we should remove it. But before we remove it, I want you to see one. Thing. If we check the output lines with the multimeter like this, plus on the ground and the minus probe on the 3.3, as you can see we don't have a shirt. 12 volts line, also okay and 5 volts should be also. Probably we have some problems on the DC-DC converter but not with power MOSFETs or maybe we have some problems with IC controller IC. If we check it on the board also we see the same Values, no shirt. So I think we have a bad control IC chip. But let's see. In order to remove the DC DC converter, we just have to sprinkle it with concentrated mixture of solder sucker and desoldering wick, like this. Wait one, two seconds, move it from side to side like this, and it's gonna get out pretty easily. I'm not gonna show you the link to, the, to that liquid. I think everyone who do repairs know knows 
what kind of liquid I'm talking about. Anyway, we removed this board. Let's check transistors first. This one must be okay. And it is okay. 90%. This one also. And there is not much to check. Here is one small transistor. Let's check it also. And this one is also good. So, this is the IC. I already replaced it. Unfortunately, I didn't record the testing it before. Let's test it now. And as you can see, it has some pulses on the gate of the transistor. Before, there weren't any pulses. And it means we should be good. Now I can't test it properly because there are some pins that goes from super supervisor I see. So I should put it back and test. That's what I did. Everything soldered back. As you can see. Now well, we can test it. Let's get the tester. Connect it like before. The power cord is connected. Turn on the power. Be a sunlight here and we've got all the voltages we need. And it stays on. It's not get it, getting into protection mode. So I think we good. I'm gonna put everything back and test finally. Everything is assembled back. Final checking. The pan is spinning. Let's try another tester. Here it is, connecting it, and all the voltages here, power good here. So this power supply is saved, I hope you like it, if you like, give it a thumb up. See you next time, goodbye, have a good day.